Timmy, you should be good to go now. Just keep that ankle wrap for about six weeks, and after that, you'll be good as new. Yeah, well, um, perks of being a kid, kid. I'm telling you, being a grown-up is not all it's cracked up to be. You sprain your ankle, and then two months later, it's like nothing ever happened. Meanwhile, I'm starting to get to the age where I'm reciting my vowels every time I bend over to pick something up. Like, I-E-I-O-U, right? But hey, seriously, Timmy, I need you to promise me something. No more backflips off of the coffee table, okay? I'm serious. You're lucky it was just your ankle. It could have been way worse. I know it looks fun when they do it on TV, but there's a reason they say, please don't try this at home. At school, on the other hand. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't tell your mom I said that either. Is your mom single, by the way? Ooh. Alright, um... It's complicated. I got it. Don't tell her I said that either then. Right? But hey, for realsies, do you promise me? I don't like seeing you get hurt, okay? I know you're a big tough guy, so you can handle it, but do it for me and for everyone else who loves and cares about you. We just want you to stay safe, yeah? It would make all of our collective hearts rest a little bit easier. So what do you say, Tim Man? Can you do that for us? No, I want to hear you say it. Out loud. With um, one hand on your heart like this, and the other one in the air. No more backflips, unless I'm in a gymnasium with adult supervision. Go ahead. Good boy. Now, I will say, there is indeed a silver lining to this completely avoidable accident. And I'm not saying this was a good thing or advocating for it in the future, but you do look pretty cool with that cast on. Elementary school street cred is going to go through the roof on Monday morning. Just as long as you don't say how you actually got it, right? Well, just tell them you were in a fight. With a, with a bear or something. Oh, that's true. A lion would be more believable. Better suited for our terrain. Good thinking, kid. That's a smart play. Well, I would love to spend the rest of my evening conspiring with you, but um, I gotta go do some boring paperwork now. Which means it's also time for you to skedaddle on out of here. I know, buddy, I know. Trust me, I don't want to do it either. But here, I'll get the door for you. See you later, Timmy. Well, hopefully not, right? Oh, and, uh... Hey, remind me. What are the two things you're not gonna tell your mom? Uh-huh. Wait, what? No, you can't tell her that. Well, because I could get fired, dude. Which... Admittedly, it doesn't sound that bad at this point in my shift, but I can't just leave. It's a 
grown-up thing. I got bills to pay. You'll understand when you get older. Well, come on, man. I thought we were friends. Yeah, well, you know what? You don't even look that cool with your ankle taped up like that. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said it. You look like you were sleepwalking in the middle of the night and forgot to put your Lego away the day before. Yeah, you know what, Timmy? Go ahead and tell your mom I said that. See if I care. I don't need this. You think I'm scared of you? I fought bears, kid. Lions, too. Believe me, Timmy, the two-timing tattletale is the least of my worries. What? Oh, so you're just gonna walk away from me? Fine. Whatever. Stupid little twerp. Wait, 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 Timmy, wait. Stop. Don't, don't tell her, okay? Come on, we're better than this. Let's not do anything rash, all right? We can compromise, like men. Come to a gentleman's agreement. Would you, would you do it for a Scooby snack? No, this isn't a bribe. This is a... This is a trade. Like at recess when you give your lunchable to another kid for their peanut butter and jelly. I'm giving you this gooey snack so you don't tell your mom that I said you could do backflips off of the coffee tables at school. See? It's the same thing. What are you? kidding me? Fine. Two Scooby Snacks, you freaking gremlin. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. All right, now, get out of here before the cops come. Unbelievable. I didn't know Rugrats was still on the air. <sighs> All right. Now that that's over, just... Two more hours to go. Yeah, you know what? Maybe getting fired wouldn't be that bad. I could go to sleep early, maybe ask for a job at the club down the corner. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, I'm happier than ever. Raking in the dough, gliding down a pole like a fireman. No, come on. You can do this. Undivided attention. People, people need you right now. Say the mantra. For each and every sleepless night, there could also be a sweet little rascal who just might go home to see their parents again in the light. Alright. Come on, dude. You really gonna let some dumb paperwork get you down? You're the luckiest guy in the world. Oh no. New patient just admitted. Critical condition, some serious injuries. (sighs) Spoke too soon. Alright, let's head on over there. Hopefully, it's not as bad as it seems. I swear to God, if this is another wannabe pro wrestler moonsaulting off their couch, I wonder if Timmy knows anyone at the club. (gasps) Holy, oh my God. Wait, I know this girl. What happened to her? What's her condition? Jesus. Okay, um... Clear the room in B9, and set up a ventilator on the medial side. We're going to start compressions right away. Hey, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but you're going to be okay, alright? I promise. I won't let you out of my sight. 
Move out of the way. She's going to urgent care, now. Stay with me, okay? Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you can start heading back. You're done now, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, see you tomorrow. Oh, uh, nah, I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight. Just tell the guys I said what's up for me, okay? Well, I still have a couple more hours here. And, um, I might stay a little late again just to make sure she's okay. No, stop. It's nothing like that. I swear to God, it's only been 24 hours, and your friggin' motor mouth already spread that rumor throughout the entire department. Yeah, I hear you down the hall going, Ugh, he's gonna stay late again to take care of his girlfriend. No, it's not. Oh, well, yeah, she's cute, but she's an old friend. Yeah. So knock it off, Dr. Dunscap. Alright. Take it easy. Try safe. Oh, hey, you're awake. You feeling alright? You were in a bit of a rough one. <laughs> don't worry, I uh, don't even have to be injured to make those same noises in the morning. But, um, I think it is a bit cuter when you do it. Oh, um, yeah, I'm your doctor. You're in the hospital. I've just been looking after you. Patching you up, general monitors, and watching you sleep. Not watching you sleep. I don't know why I said that. Well, a little bit, but just to make sure you're still breathing and all that. Making sure your vitals are all normal. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, it's me. Sorry, I didn't know if you would recognize me or not. So I didn't want to say anything just in case you didn't. Wow, I I thought I grew up a little bit, you know, but I guess not. Yeah, it's um nice to see you too. Under different circumstances would have been better, obviously, but it's still nice. You're looking good, especially for someone who was just in an accident. I mean, no, you look good in general. Not just for someone who is in an accident. I mean, not that I'm surprised you always looked good. You looked good back then, and even now you still look good. Um, I'm gonna... Can I try that again? Yeah, that's uh, another thing that hasn't changed, I guess, unfortunately. My talking too much. I mean, I'm glad it seems like you haven't changed. But from talking to you, I kind of wish that I did a little bit more. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Well, it's, uh, pretty evident who life has been treating better, at least in the last 24 hours, but how have you been? I mean, you don't have to answer if you 
don't want to. I'm sure it probably hurts to talk right now. But I would love to know. Are you still going down that treacherous path? Yeah. I just remember you always got super excited whenever you talked about it. Oh, yeah? No way. No, that's super cool, too. Even back then, I knew you were going to do something cool like that. Change the world? I don't know. You just always had that vibe around you. Someone special. Um, hey, um, speaking of that, is there any other special someone we should be calling right now? Just to let them know that you're A-OK. Because I didn't see anything on your documentation. Like a, a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, pet? No? Whew. Okay, good. That's good. Well, not good, but I mean, I mean not, not bad either, but like if you... If you want to be single, then I, I think that's great. You know, Miss Independent and all that. I just think that it's good how everyone who needs to know that you're good knows. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's the only reason. Why? Is there another reason you can think of? Okay, good. Because, uh, me neither. Oh, um, sorry, I should probably do my job here and tell you how everything is looking now that it's been a day of recovery. Alright, so you got some bruising along both sides of your midsection. Um, some open wounds, but those should heal perfectly fine after a week or so. Oh, and a hairline fracture right at the bottom of your left leg. So we're probably looking at a brace or a splint at the very least. But the good news is... Um, yeah, I didn't actually have any good news planned. Well, I mean, the good news is the rest of your body is looking fine. Yeah, I just had to do a general physical and everything else is looking good. I don't want to say looking good again. Looking healthy. Well, yeah, I just had to make sure we caught everything. Wrap up some of your contusions, apply some antiseptic, and um, stretch you out a little bit. Uh, not stretch you out. Like I, I wanted, I wanted you to be flexible, and not flexible, like comfortable and. You know what I mean. Gosh. All these years later and you're still doing that to me. No, don't play innocent. I know it's intentional. And you enjoy it, I can tell. It's friggin' messed up. No, you... You look at me like that and then I get all hot. It's like you have heat vision or something. Well, yeah, I know I blush easy. Can't. Can't help it. This is a heavy lab coat. They got me wearing a lot of layers. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Alright? 
And if that makes me guilty of something, then yeah. I'm guilty of caring about you. Freaking sue me. Don't actually. I can't afford it. Ooh, hold on. You've actually got a pretty gnarly bruise on your forehead here. Sorry, I don't know how I missed that. Here, I got a warm towel. No, 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 no. It's okay. I can hold it. Let me just keep that on for you. Um, yes, um, really nice eyes, you know that? I always thought that. I just never told you before. Last night, I recognized you even when they were closed, but now that they're open and I can see you, it's just, uh, I, uh, oh, uh, sorry, it's my thing. You think you use it to tell me when a new patient has arrived? <sighs> okay, let's see. Timmy again? How did... He front flipped off his coffee table this time. Uh, of course he did. Uh, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. You could not have picked a better time. All right. Duty calls. Um. Maybe when I come back later, we can pick up where we left off? Yeah, I'd like that. Alright. Oh, um, if you need anything, though, just, uh, holler. I'll make you my top priority, my favorite patient. Oh, but, uh, don't tell anyone. I could probably get fired for saying stuff like that. Or for any other stuff we may or may not do. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're good, you can also just get some more shut eye. You're, you're cute when you sleep. Um, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. All right.